Hello everyone. Today I received a package from China, so I decided to open it. Let's cut the seal tape. There are a few packages inside, so let's check them out. First, the plastic package. Opening it up, we have a pouch of screws and some other small items. A nice, durable looking 3D printed case. Now, let's take the other one. Another pouch of screws and a red 3D printed case. It looks solid and really beautiful. Now, let's open the cardboard box. Inside, there is a 3.7 volt, 3000 mAh high power battery, which is 11.11 .11 watt hours with a male battery connector. Let's open another plastic box. Here is the main board, the ESP32 V3 long range module, also known as the LoRa module with a Type C interface. Let's see what else comes inside the box. An antenna, SMA male and female connectors, a UFL connectors to the main board, and another spring antenna. There is also an extra battery connector and some male header pins. The other unit has the same items as the first one. Now let's prepare to assemble the module and make it complete device. First I connect the antenna to the LoRa V3 module. Assemble all the parts accordingly. screw in the antenna secure the main board with screws connect the battery and attach the 3D printed back panel using the nuts and bolts that comes in packets. I repeat the same process for the red one. After assembling everything, the device is still not set up, so let's program it. I removed the battery from the LoRa module. 
connect the cable to the laptop and go to the Mistastic web flasher. If you have an Apple Mac, you need to use Google Chrome because it's not supported in the Safari browser. Then I select the correct board, ESP32, Heltec V3. Choose the latest firmware and click flash. It takes a few minutes to fully upload the firmware to the LoRa module. Once it's done, you can see new interface on the display. Let's flash the second one using the same procedure. It also uploads successfully. After that, I assemble everything back in the right way. Now you can see everything on the display. Like all the features and settings, this LoRa module can send data across up to 10 km without any SIM card or any kind of internet. This device can be used in many IoT projects like controlling lights, fans, and other devices with switches. Since it has a built-in Bluetooth chip, it can be used for many other things as well. Now let me show one demonstration. I send the preset message hi to the other device and the message instantly pops up on the display. In this firmware version, you can change settings like location, brightness, turning the display on or off, time, reason, battery percentage, flip mode, and more. It looks great in hand, durable and reliable. But there is one downside in this firmware. You can only use one button to navigate the settings using long press and single press. Maybe in the future, the Mestastic team will update the firmware to fix this. Also, you can program this ASV LoRa module using Arduino IDE, which is familiar to anyone who uses Arduino boards, you can build anything you want based on your requirement. In the future, I'm going to make a lot of useful devices using this module, so stay connected with my channel. Overall, this device is quite impressive as it comes with versatile features and can be used for many things. I'll put the official Mestastic link in the description, so check it out. Also, thanks to the Mestastic team. I'm also going to build my many useful IoT devices using this module, so stay connected. This firmware also has auto sleep mode and you can find the sleep mode option in the settings, so you don't need to unplug the battery or power it off completely. And with the long lasting 3000 mAh battery, you don't have to worry about recharging it once it fully charged. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to my channel, hit the subscribe button and like the video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.